Let's talk about the theater creepypasta. This is a game that apparently didn't exist according to some. The game was developed by a company called Salida Software. If you manage to get a copy of the real disc and you smashed it, apparently the ticket taker, which is the man right here, would develop a face on the cover and have an angry expression. And that's if you got past the installation, which was apparently nearly impossible. And if you guys played old games back in the day, there was a licensing agreement you got to right before the game loaded up and you had to click A or X, whatever you had. Apparently that all went blank and all the lines were just jagged lines. If the game did load up correctly for you, you got to this menu right here. None of the options worked except new game. If you clicked anything else, it would crash your computer. Once the ticket taker takes your ticket and you do it many, many times again because it's an endless loop, something strange happens. One of the first things players reported was the ticket taker was gone after a while and then you can just walk straight endlessly through this black hallway. The audio for your footsteps would still play, but you wouldn't see anything. Then, when you can't walk anymore, the swirly head man appears. He's a glitched version of the ticket taker. You'll hear a crazy screech through the game and your computer will crash. After this happens and you load up a new game normally, the swirly head man will appear and spawn in random corners and scream and then disappear. The next glitch that happens with the ticket taker, after a few cycles, he will scream never reach other levels. Then the screen fades out again and the game crashes and you're back to the main menu. Nobody knows how to get to the other levels, and nobody can explain why everyone that plays this game gets a crazy amount of fear in them once they see the swirly head man right here. Most of the original copies of this game have been destroyed or lost. It's extremely rare that you'll find an original copy that isn't bootleg. And even worse, some players that played this game back in the day report still seeing the swirly head man out of the corner of their eyes today. What do you guys think about this? Have you guys played the theater game?